Okay, this is Ray J2 here, and today we're going to be playing something completely different. Like I usually say, we're going to be playing a Sega game. Even better, it's going to be on the Dreamcast, and even better than that, is made by Sonic Team. If you haven't figured it out by now, meaning if you haven't looked up at the video title, this is Sonic Adventure 2. A game that I really, really, really enjoyed back when it came out in 2001. I haven't played this game in like almost 10 years, and I used to be really good at it too. I have a file with all 180 emblems, but for this LP we're gonna pick a completely new file. And a couple things about this game, I have no idea if it's any good. I used to be obsessed with it Story select. when I was like 15. That was almost 10 years ago. In fact, that was 10 years ago. And we're gonna see if my tastes in games have changed much. We're gonna start with the hero side. Hopefully this game still holds up. I it's, hear it's a lot better than the original Sonic Adventure, which has not aged well at all. And, um... Sigma Alpha the 2 story heading due south over the city. We're en route. Everything's a go. And this Control game is just all over radar. the place. It Report makes no sense at all whatsoever. If you want to see the cutscenes, you can see them on your own. That's a ten I'm just gonna be... Cargo secured on board and... Commenta commentating on these, and this game doesn't really tell you much. Sonic is in an airplane, and he's getting out. No explanation at all whatsoever. I guess if you play the Dark Story, on the voice acting is not good. The graphics are nice, at least they were nice. Back on the Dreamcast, this is one of the Dreamcast's best looking games. Yeah! The graphics have, once again have not aged well. I don't want to be negative with this game, especially since I know how much I used to play this, how much I used to love this game. So let's just play City Escape. And I can actually explain why I decided to play this game in the first place. New game Sonic Generations looks really good. It's the first Sonic game I've been interested in, legitimately interested in, since Sonic 2006. Which was a gigantic disappointment in every regard, but... This is Sonic Adventure 2. Let's not talk about that game. That game sucks. Anyway, Sonic Generations came out with their City Escape trailer the other day from E3, and I said, wow, that looks really nice. I remember Sonic Adventure 2. I used to really enjoy this game. In case you haven't figured it out, oh my god. Um, so far it's a little rough around the edges, but that's not a big deal. That's Elmo Chow. He's annoying as all hell. He will, he'll, he'll tell you things that you actually do need to know sometimes. So you have to talk to him every so often. Seeing as, seeing as how I haven't played this game in over 10 years, I might have to um, take his advice. This sign says playing Sonic Adventure 2 is habit forming, don't turn off your Dreamcast. That is true. This game is habit forming, especially if you're going for all 180 emblems. I won't be. I'm just going to finish the main story. I might play the hard mode missions, depending on how I feel about this game after I uh, finish it. Who knows, it might... If it still holds up, if I still enjoy this game, and I don't see any reason why I would hate this game. But you never know, stranger things have happened, and... I'm trying to do a light speed dash, but I guess I don't have it yet. It's a completely new file. But don't worry, Sonic will be geared up with all sorts of pointless uh, rings, bracelets, trinkets. He's gonna look completely ugly. He's gonna look pretty ugly by the time we're finished. So is everyone else in this game, especially Knuckles. 
But uh, yeah, something I should mention is that uh, this this level actually has lyrics in the song, and I actually used to like this song, and actually I still kind of do. It is a catchy song. So now that we're over here, let's just go through. We're gonna fight, or we're gonna go through the big truck. This part is, um, even though I haven't played it in such a long time, all I I know you all you have to do is hold down, and that's it. This is the intro level. It's not hard at all. So, oh yeah, that's um something else I was gonna say, but I forgot. So anyway, this is the gun truck. And yeah, even when the gun truck gets right in your face, it still does not hit you. I don't want it to hit me anyway, because I have the lightning shield and um, rings are attracted to you in the light with, when you have this shield. Yes. And we get ranked at the end of a mission. I'm probably going to get a B rank. I used to remember what the score... Oh, I actually got A. That was cool! That's not bad. Unlike my, um, some of my other LPs, I'm not gonna have any practice runs for this. I'm just gonna go through it and play it, not blind, since I have played this game before. But it's gonna be similar to my Super Mario 64 LP. No practice runs, just what the hell's going on? This game of tag is boring. Oh yeah, that's right, I'm playing the story mode. Hmm. Finally decided to show up, eh? So I guess we have a boss, another boss, I have big foot. Wow, really? Um, sure, why not? Okay, so I have to relearn how to fight the boss, because like I said before, I haven't played this game in about 10 years, so... I think all the Sonic bosses, or at least the beginning ones here, they're all pretty easy. He's just gonna run around and... Not do anything. Okay, now he's gonna land. How many times can I hit him? Hit him more than once. Uh, no, it doesn't seem like I can. Oh god. One thing that I'm going to remember very soon is that the camera angle is. The camera sucks. Why can't I hit these boxes over here? Uh, where are you? There we go, I can only hit him once, I assume. And good luck following what's going on. This game is willy-nilly with the camera. Oh my god. That has nice billboards. Chow in Space 2. That's has nothing to do with anything. Fantasy Star Online. That's a nice, that's an awesome game that I used to play. Dreamcast. Um, this is Spider Troop Bigfoot. Bigfoot to headquarters over. Bigfoot, really? This thing barely even has any giant feet. And all in the first place, he's not even um, aiming for me. This is this is strange, but whatever. Once he lands, we'll get rid of him. There we go. Yes, because I'm Sonic the Hedgehog. Hey, guy, take care. And. This is gonna be strange. What do we have next? I have no idea. It's probably a cutscene. Yep, it is definitely a cutscene. What? Oh, and look, it's the first introduction of Shadow the Hedgehog. It all starts with this. A jewel containing the ultimate power. Oh my god. Chaos Emerald! I used to enjoy this storyline back when I was younger, but now it's just... It's all over the place. It's, I have no idea what to say about it. But anyway, Ch Shadow is a big cheater. He uses Chaos Control, which is uh, basically a... Uh, I don't know, it's kind of like a time-traveling teleport thing. He goes ultra fast. Be using the Chaos Emerald to war the shadow. I'm the world's ultimate life form. And he's arrogant as all hell. And he's pretty easy too when you actually fight him. Oh and yeah, everyone's uh 
Yeah, Sonic is in jail now. Because why not? Oh, and the Dreamcast is really loud at the loading screen. And oh crap, what do we have here? Just let it go. You just don't know when to give up, do you? That's Rouge the Bat. She's, uh, yeah, that's Knuckles the Echidna. He's cool. Only this game makes him uncool. Because instead of being a, an absolute beast like he usually is, he's just a... <laughs> he can't even protect... He can't protect Eggman from, uh, stealing his emerald. Oh, and this game is loaded with jazz. Dr. Especially in the so cutscenes. So anyway, that's Rouge the Bat. She's uh, sexy and smooth. That is the game's description, not mine. I personally think she's hideous. And I'm not paying I much attention to these cutscenes either. I was like, if it's in pieces, I can restore. And by the way, that's not your You can way. you can watch them. It's just once I get back to the base. Obviously I don't care very much about the storyline of Sonic games anymore. I despise anyone who takes jewels from me. All the world's gems are mine. Especially yeah, when they're this bad dumb. Girl. So what do we have next? An action stage? Yes, it is Wild Canyon. Find three pieces of the Master Emerald. Alright. So, um... These are the scavenger hunt missions. Alright, so, um, that is it. Let us, let us, um, call it a video right here. We will do Knuckles' crazy treasure hunt, the first of many, and hopefully the game won't completely slow down to an absolute crawl. Yeah. So, I'll see you next time.